tucked in with that Broncos news today from the governor, when that was clearly going to be the media focus, was a small side note that the state would like us all to download an app to track our movements. A what to what or what? So this is COVID-19 tracing meets technology. Our Marshall Zellinger challenged the governor about giving up privacy for pandemic protection. What if your phone, in addition to getting gifts describing today's weather, also alerted you to possibly being exposed to COVID-19? It's an app coming to your phone later this month, if you opt in. On an iPhone, you'll just have to turn it on. And on a, uh, an Android phone, you'll have to download an app. The state announced the app called EN Express, Exposure Notification, to help notify people who may have been exposed to COVID. How? Follow this example of Alice and Bob sitting next to each other on a bench. Their phones are exchanging through Bluetooth anonymous tokens back and forth with each other. Let's say Bob later tests positive for COVID. He can upload his test result to the app, which will then start a process to notify other phones his phone has been around. All of those tokens then send a message back to the phones that they were generated on and give people a little push notification that say, hey, look, you might have been exposed. Call your local public health agency. If it is exactly as they say, I don't see any major security flaws in that kind of application, then I certainly see some upsides to it. Both Steve Beatty, MSU Denver Computer Science Chair, and Sarah Thunberg with the State Health Department confirm tokens do not share personally identifiable information or your location, just that your phone was near someone else's phone. Your phone will generate what we call a completely random set of characters. And then once it's within Bluetooth range of any other phone, and that's give or take 30 feet or so, then it will exchange that token with the other phone. But what happens if those tokens get hacked or compromised? Even if you got a hold of them, it would look like a list of gobbledygook numbers and letters, and you could not actually back into whose phone it came from, whose phone it went to. Other states are also using the app. Your phone can ping other devices and vice versa in Alabama, Arizona, D.C., Maryland, Nevada, North Dakota, Virginia, and Wyoming. So that means if, if you get COVID or someone your phone has been around gets COVID and you upload the information to that app, you're going to get that uncomfortable text message or you're going to give that uncomfortable text message to someone else. Marshall, now that you explain it, this sounds a lot more innocuous than the tracking cap capabilities that we give, say, the Google. True. I asked Steve Beatty, like, does our phone do anything like this that we already use and just don't realize? And not really. The closest example would be airdropping someone a photo, but that requires knowing the other person's contact information. This, uh, according to everybody so far, in eliminates all contact information. All right, Marshall Zellinger, thank you for that report and for showing us what it looks like when a sweater fits.